I've been using this particular product for quite a while, and uh, no, this is not some special endorsement, even though I think it's a great product. Uh, I've always been curious about that little rubber button on the bottom there, and uh, like everything else I've been curious about, I right away do some research on it, and I found out that it's uh, a plug, I guess, after they fill it, rubber plug, but uh, it's not just, that's a general consensus. Uh, a few places say that it's a part of a little bladder or something like that as well. But I've seen people online talk about they've uh, <laughs> tried to pull it out and uh, had a mess. And I, I can't understand why anybody would have tried to pull it out with a full can. But, uh, you know, people are adventurous, I guess. Uh, so this was an empty can, and I, I know it de definitely a acts as a plug as well. But I'm interested to see if it's some sort of bladder also inside there. And so what I'm going to do is cut this guy open and uh, see exactly what the configuration is inside there. When I reconfigured my shop, I eliminated two vices that were taking up quite a bit of counter space. And so I'm really looking for a vice alternative that's not going to take up a lot of space. Maybe something I can make that's uh, portable that can move in and out. Anyway, uh, any suggestions on that? Great. Uh, I'd appreciate it. Leave them in the comment section. Also, make sure you press that uh, like button. So right now I'm just going to use my uh, clamp vise against one of my servers here and cut with a hacksaw right down the center here. Hopefully, if there's some sort of bladder in there, I'm not going to actually cut through it before I get a chance to take a look at it. Of course, this can is empty. That's one thing with these clamps, uh, they just don't hold completely. I guess it was empty, but not. Uh, there's still a little bit of air coming out of there now. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to tighten this vice a little more. Okay, tighten it a little more. Let's see if that holds a little better. Yeah, it's still moving a bit, but like I said, get those vice suggestions to me. I'm gonna have to cut my finger off here. When utilizing a bandsaw to cut something like this, you got to make sure you have a steady grip on your product because uh, it could rip it out of your hand and uh, maybe even pull your hand into the blade. And go very slowly. inside even after it's absolutely empty. I'm going to try to get some of this stuff out of there without sticking my finger in there. Because this tin surface is very sharp and uh, you will be unhappy with yourself if you get yourself one of those nasty, painful, lingering cuts just because you were curious about this nonsense. Alright, so the The mystery is uh, solved. Maybe in some cans it, it is some sort of bladder as well, but uh, in this particular can it's just a rubber plug. Looks like it has a slot in there. I want to see if it's something that screws out. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But it spins nice and freely, I tell you that much. It's not like it's uh, some super tight fit. I think the pressure itself, itself the can uh, keeps it inside it. And uh, I've had issues so I keep this in a, my uh, homemade uh, wood medicine cabinet. And I've had issues where I have a ring on the bottom of the cabinet, the wooden cabinet. And I'm wondering why it seems to have been leaking. Okay. Reach in there. Try to pry that thing out so I can see exactly what it looks like. Oh, I just popped it out. That little prong that sticks out is super, super small. It's not the, uh, you know, a long prong there. All right, mystery solved. It's uh, just a little tiny uh, rubber plug. So I'm sure what's going on is that they uh, make the can itself whole and with the hole inside, and then the machine pumps in the uh, foam 
and the uh, propellant inside there, and then plug it up with this crap. No, that can't be. This has to be plugged from the inside. So that's another mystery. Now the question is just that, if you put this in from the inside, that means the, the propellant foam comes in from the other end there, and then what's the purpose of actually leaving the hole inside there to put this plug in? I don't know if this acts as some sort of pressure relief to keep the can from exploding or something, I don't know. But it has to be something of that nature, it's not just a fill plug, if it has to be put in from the, the inside out. Alright, maybe the misty widens it. Doesn't end, maybe it widens a bit. I'll check a little more into that. But at least we know now exactly what's inside it. So if any of you have a definitive answer to exactly how and why this thing is put inside there, or even some vague idea, some of your own, post it on the comment section. Once again, please uh, don't forget to like, share, and comment on the video, and uh, press the bell notification so you know when I upload new stuff.